Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna spill my five hottest beauty tips and tricks right now. I have been enlightened. I have been devouring content on TikTok. Some of these are inspired by TikToks. Other of these are just weird things that I have started doing that we have not discussed that I felt like sharing. So let's dive on in to the fun. Okay, glass bottles. I got three of them in front of me. We're gonna chat about it because this is such an epic game changer. Like these tips are not just your regular, like it might make your liner a little bit better, like it might help a little bit. No, these are game changing beauty secrets, beauty tricks, and this one right here goes Far. So I'm really excited to share with you guys the genius of putting a micellar water in a glass spray bottle. It doesn't sound that exciting off the bat, but let me tell you, oh my gosh, you will save money on the amount of product that you are normally wasting on a cotton round, but also when you saturate the face with micellar water and let it kind of do its work, you don't need to get in there right away. Just mist, 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 mist. You guys know I'm pretty heavy handed with my setting mists. I kind of do the same thing with this technique where you really saturate the face and then you go in with a rag, a makeup eraser, a cotton round, whatever you love to use to take your makeup off. Oh my God. Gosh, it's so good. Okay, so I'm taking, wow, I feel like I'm milking a cow right now. Um, this is a micellar water from Eucerin. This is something that I actually picked up when traveling because I forgot my micellar water, which was a tragedy. Um, ooh, so much going on right now. Uh, that was real. I was trying to be like clever and like show you guys in action. I probably should be doing this like in the bathroom. This one's already done. Hey, okay, so take your micellar water, fill a glass bottle with it. It doesn't have to be glass. I just think it feels a little more spa and I just like the aesthetic of a glass bottle, so that's what I do. You could go to the travel section at Target, Walgreens, CVS, and get those little mini spray bottles as well. You don't have to do this. I got mine at Sprouts. You can buy these off Amazon as well, and they got a pretty like nice mist on here. Okay, so you missed the face. You take the makeup off. I think this is a beautiful tip. It's also great to kind of get in that hairline a little bit because I don't know about you, but sometimes I get makeup up here and when you have a saturated wipe, you're just kind of ruining your hair a little bit um, with oils and whatnot. This is actually bonus kind of cleaning your hair too, depending on the type of micellar water you use, which leads me right into my next tip. Like it works so well, it is astonishing. Get an oil removing micellar water, even if you have dry skin. Just trust me, grab an oil reducing micellar water and fill your glass bottle up with it. So I don't personally use a purifying cleansing water because I don't wanna dry out my skin and I'm not dealing currently with acne. This is something I will label the bottle and I will reserve to spray in my hair after working out. I will then take my hair dryer and shoot hot air on the hairline and the micellar water is eating up the oil. There's no white flaky residue from a dry shampoo. There's no mess. There's no nothing. Your hair looks so ridiculously fresh. You might be thinking, gosh, I never have to wash my hair again. It literally will elongate the bounciness and freshness of your hair. Sometimes after working out, my hair is just like, ooh, like what are we gonna do with this? Like if you're covered in sweat, you need to do this. Like you cannot put baby powder spray on sweaty hair and think that that is gonna end well. It's not, you need a hair dryer. you need something that's actually wet. Like we're fighting fire with fire, so the hair is already a little damp around the hairline depending on the type of workout you did. Spray the micellar water on, get your round brush or tip your head upside down, get some heat on there and bam, you are brand Freaking new. So hot for these tips. I love them. Oh my gosh. I love a good beauty tip. All right. Also, what do we think about the turtleneck? I don't know that I like it, actually. This is from my over shopping on Amazon during Black Friday. I spent way too much time on the couch perusing Amazon and I wanted to find inspired by inspired by skims. I'm looking for something a little more not soft. Leave me your recommendations, but the color of this is pretty cute. I think I'm gonna keep it. This is a size small. It's a little 
more loose than I was imagining. So heads up, it runs a little large, but what do we think? What do we think? Okay, um, we're back to the tips. So are you checking out my professional manicure? Because I did that myself. I'm so proud, I am so pleased. I have such a phenomenal tip for you guys. I cannot believe this works as well as it does. Literally the heavens opened and like a beauty miracle was delivered. And I'm just honestly so excited that I never need to go and get my nails done again. I love the shine of a gel manicure, really hard to achieve at home. Usually after a day or so, things will get a little dull and not as shiny and reflective. And I want like the high gloss of a good gel manicure when I do my nails. That is something that I've been missing when doing my nails at home. And I was at Sally's, I saw Sesh Vite. I was gonna grab my regular top coat, but oh no, I saw a gel top coat that you could put on top of regular polish, or at least I hope you can because that's what I'm doing and it's working and it has elevated my nail game so high. So I grabbed that bottle and then I grabbed a little LED light from Sally's. I did not buy the expensive one. It's medium nice. I think it's called a nail boo which reminded me of Taylor and Boobra and our throwback to when Boobra was on the channel. In the future, get softer sheets. This is terrible. Those are bamboo. They're high quality. I don't know what you are- Bamboo? About. Wow, I set myself up for that one. Do you guys remember that at all? I was like, oh my gosh, I am buying a nail boo. So I have my nail boo and I painted my nails as normal, which I'm using a gorgeous shade by China Glaze called Give Me S'mores. I am loving, on TikTok they call this hot chocolate nails because we gotta be extra with everything. And I'm here for that. Like, I think it's fun. I think, you know, tomato girl, strawberry girl, espresso girl, latte girl, hot cocoa nails. Like it just feels kind of fun. So I don't know, I'm into it. So I painted my nails with Give Me S'mores from China Glaze, did my normal thing, except for I put a gel top coat on top instead of my regular Sesh Vite fast dry top coat. And I cured them under the UV light for like 90 seconds. I felt in my head that was an appropriate amount of time. Uh, you tell me in the comments below, does that sound about right? I finished both hands and then was amazed at my work and even more amazed that they're not chipping. They are not chipping. This is craziness. The ones that I took off to redo to film for this video literally had not chipped. I didn't even need to redo them, but I wanted to film the process so you guys could see it and I was curious to see how it would come off. I dipped my nail in my regular like Olive and June nail polish remover thing, it came right off. So there was no drilling, grinding, none of that. It just held the polish in place securely, high shine, no chipping. Like you can wash your hair and like be in hot water and like get scrubbing. You can open packages, organize things, do the dishes. You're not gonna chip your nails as quickly and they will stay so super shiny. I'm loving this technique. Let me add a little spice in and share with you guys. Technique of mine that I've talked about before, but we need to reminisce and kind of chat about it again because I still do this tip. It was published in Allure magazine way back when. When I tell you that I shared that magazine with all of my family and I was like, see, I give beauty advice and people like it. Even though the little segment was like this big, it was just like, eh, but it was a good tip and it's still how I achieve this. So come a little closer, let me spill my secrets. What I do is I paint four nails and then I leave my thumbs blank. What I do then is I have a dip in polish remover. I take my thumb on the opposite hand, I dunk it in so there's a little bit of nail polish remover there and if I have any kind of mishap on the side, I will use the sharpness of my own nail dipped in acetone and I will clean it up. Everybody always asks, they're like, that's great, but what do you do about your thumbs? You take a deep breath, you say a prayer and you go slow. And if you have to correct the thumbs with a brush after, it's much, much easier to just correct two than all 10. This technique gets it done. I love it. Let me know if you try it out. Whew. I like need to breathe. I'm so excited about this next tip. 
This is a tip. I don't even know who to credit for this because I saw it on TikTok and it was like stitched with a bunch of other people and everyone's like, oh my gosh, I, my brain is melting. Why would I not think of this? And it's one of those where it's like, I was today years old when I found out. I started doing this technique and when I tell you, my mornings are more enjoyable and I feel sexier than ever in a bathrobe. So wonderful. You guys are going to flip out at this. I get excited about these kind of things because I like figuring stuff out. Like I want things to work better always. So this technique is tying your robe in the front. So take the actual tie out of your robe. You're gonna put it through the two loops in the front. It feels a little funny because we're so used to just kind of tying it from the back and like you're making breakfast and like half the robe is falling open and things are falling out and you're just like, oh gosh, you know, like if you're with family, you're like, oh gosh, you know, you take it in the front and you can really cinch out your waist, tie it really tight. You have all of the cloth giving you extra security that you're not flashing people. The top portion kind of comes in like a wrap dress where it's more flattering on the bust. And then if you're sitting down, you don't have the tie like bumping around your lower back on your chair if you're sitting down and eating breakfast and you're a person that lives life in a robe, which I tend to. I will wander around this house in a robe until like the last minute of needing to get dressed. And now that I'm tying it in the front, I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm in a gorgeous gown. This is figure flattering. I feel hands-free. I'm not tucking and like doing weird things with the fabric 24 seven and just try it and get back to me and let me know that you love it because I really think you will. And now I want to share with you guys a new technique that I am doing with my foundation that has helped me to pull it back and not overdo because I am I'm so admitting that I overdo foundation. I wanna cover everything up. And when I'm filming, I'm in front of all these big lights and the camera picks up everything. And I can be a little insecure about my hyperpigmentation. And then I just kinda of wanna like shellac the face and cover it up. But I go into real life and I'm starting to notice it's not working like it used to. My skin is changing and lines are showing up and it's just not as flattering anymore. So I'm like, oh, we gotta adjust. Like how can I feel covered and pull this back and not be as heavy handed because I'm naturally just kind of heavy handed with my face makeup. So what I've started doing with all of my liquids is I will load my brush. Now, what I mean by loading my brush is kind of a technique I picked up when I used to sell bare minerals way back when. I was a counter girl, downtown Seattle, swirl tap buff. They taught us to take the kabuki brush into the lid and you literally load the brush. So you are taking the powder and you are loading it in the brush. So when you take it out of the lid, you shouldn't see powder on the end of the bristles. It's loaded in and then when you buff, all of the minerals are kind of making their way through the brush and distributing really beautifully and giving you great coverage. So I tried this with a foundation brush and my foundation where I put a little foundation on my palette and I swirl like for a little bit of time, like not excessive, but I give it a couple of swirls and I load my brush. I then kind of tap off a little bit of the excess to make sure there's not too much product there, that it's not too wet on the tips because the idea is that you wanna load those bristles a little bit deeper with your foundation. Then you're gonna go in and buff and use circular motions and buff and it just gives you the most perfect distribution, the most even application. When you need a little more coverage, you go, you load more and just go in the area where you want a little extra hit of coverage. And it is working for me like a dream right now. I love it. You can do this with concealer as well under the eyes. If you want the satisfaction of feeling like you're wearing a face of makeup, but you don't want it to look too heavy, I would highly recommend trying out this technique. Do I have anything else? I don't think I do. I was revisiting Tip Tuesday and like laughing cackling like oh my gosh some of my old thumbnails like i don't even understand what was i thinking i still to this day 
I just, we're in turtleneck season, so I'm just gonna share with you guys, if you are doing the face makeup, you are glamming, do not underestimate the power of taking a ratty old t-shirt, reserving it in a top drawer, and putting it over your head before you remove your sweaters, especially if they are dry clean only. You will thank me later. If you get foundation on your hoodies, like the hoodie of your hoodie, and you're like, oh man, I need to like wash that now. Oh no. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a t-shirt and put it over your head, and then make sure that any bumping that happens of your face is going on that t-shirt and not whatever you are wearing that day. If you're switching out outfits, I know I do. I tend to be like, you know, put the hoodie on, come back home, rip it off. I wanna be in a t-shirt and then I wanna put a sweater on. And then if I'm going out again, I'm putting on a turtleneck and this can just save your clothes. So that is one of the best tips that I've ever given my audience that is so underrated and so weird. But I thought I would just like throw that out at the end of this video, why not? If you enjoy tip videos like this, if you find them satisfying, make sure that you thumbs this video up to let me know. Let me know in the comments what are some of your favorite beauty tips. I'm dying to hear from you and maybe I will talk about them in an upcoming video. Also make sure you subscribe and ring the bell before you leave. I am here twice a week bringing beauty content and I would love for you to come back and hang out with me. Other than that, you guys go and have a good one. Whatever you are doing, I love you and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.